Awareness through movement, when we talk about habits and habitual ways of being, you know, our habits are there for a reason. Habits are, are necessary, they're essential. Um, and there's reason, that's the reason, one of the reasons why babies sleep 18 to 20 hours a day because they're constantly learning and they have to learn how to do things and it takes a lot of energy to do so. So the sleep is there. And for us as adults, our habits have served us or they haven't served us. Some people say we have good habits, we have bad habits. In terms of, um, developing a new habit, there are, there are many books written on this, right? Um, one is called Atomic Habits by James Clear, I think, right? It's a lovely book, you know it. Um, one of the ways to develop a new habit is, well, is to make it easy, to make it small, to make it absolutely doable. So if you want to run a marathon, um, you put your sneakers by the door with the socks and you tie your shoes and you walk outside. You start there. So by, by, by doing something that's really small and attainable um, is one of the first steps to developing a new habit. The other thing I would say, and this relates to the seniors too, is when we do take that step and start concentrating on doing that new thing that maybe replaces the old, less desirable habit, celebrating what it is that you did. You know, being really kind to yourself and celebrating, you know, good for me, yay. I put on my shoes, I walked outside, right? So this, this way we talk to ourselves, the way we treat ourselves, the assessments we have about ourselves, really placing yourself as I am capable. I am a healthy person, really declaring it. Hmm. I am graceful. If you wanted to be that ballerina, right? I am graceful. So declaring it, Declaring it out loud, certainly as a teacher, as a facilitator, as a coach, it's really important to have someone hear you say that or feel that. In, in Feldenkrais, in, in Awareness Through Movement, you know, it's all done really non-verbally, but I think the presence of the, the facilitator, the teacher is really important in terms of mirroring back to the student that you are capable, you are graceful, you are beautiful. And it doesn't have to be said, but it has to be in the room, in the, the mood of the lesson so that the student can reinforce that for themselves. Oh, I am graceful. Look at how I'm doing this. I didn't know I could move like that. There's something about this that feels really nice and easy. I kind of know what a ballerina might feel like. So that's really about the shift that needs to take place for us in terms of our mindset.